All right. Good morning, everybody. Trust we are well. Happy new month. Um, welcome to our month of supernatural unveiling. Supernatural glorious unveiling. It's going to be from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, this morning, I want to, um, a few things that something dropped on my heart, and I just want to share briefly with us three things, three things to note this month, three things to bear in mind this month. Um, the first, make sure you remain thankful. The first thing is Thanksgiving. Make sure you remain thankful. Make sure you remain thankful. Make sure you remain thankful. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Make sure you remain thankful. Thanksgiving. Psalm 67. Let's go to Psalm 67. Three things. Three things. No matter what happens, three things. Oh, wow. Thanks be to God. Thank you, PCG. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 67. Psalm 67. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Psalm 67 says, May the God, may God be merciful and bless you. May his face smile with favor on you. May your ways be known throughout the earth. Your saving power among the people everywhere. May the nation praise you, O God. May the nation praise you. Let the old world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the world, of the old world. May the nations praise you, O God. May the nations praise you. May the earth, then the earth will yield its harvest and God our God will richly bless us. God bless, God, yes, God will bless us and all the people over the earth. Where I was going is, you see, your praise is tied to your increase. He said, then the land will yield its increase, even for the nation. With all that we're reading, with all that we're seeing, we have to be deliberate about thanksgiving and thanking God. I'm telling you, like, the reason why, I, I'm thinking the reason why we say be deliberate about it is because it might not come easy. It might not come simple. It might not come um, as planned or as easy you have to make a choice to be thankful. You have to make a choice to be thankful. You have to make a choice to be thankful. Because as I woke up, I just said three things. I was asking, God, what's the three things? He said, one is Thanksgiving. You have to make sure to be thankful. In Like give thanks at all times. Give thanks to God for all things. Rejoice again, I say rejoice. Philippians chapter four. You have to be thankful you have to be thankful it is very important it is extremely imperative especially where we are right now to be thankful you need to bear that in mind as we go into this new month to maximize everything the lord is giving to you in this month hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah thank you holy spirit mm. thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just take a moment to mute our mic and begin to thank God? Let's do something with everything that we, the three things the Lord is laying in our heart. Let's do, okay. let's do something with all the three things. Wherever you are, unmute your mic and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, blessed to be you. I need to hear you. Lift your voice, someone, everybody. Lift your voice. 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 Lift your voice
Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one to be compared to. My name of prayed. And I feel very strongly, even for me, it's not enough to just open a mouth to thank God, but make sure your heart is connected and thanking God. So no matter what, and I think this is why the second thing is going to encourage and empower us to thank God. For Samuel chapter 30. For Samuel 30. From verse 1. These three days later, when David and his men arrived home at the town of Ziklag, the fact that the Amalekites have made a raid into Negev and Ziklag and they had crushed Ziklag and burned it to the ground. They had carried off women and children and everyone else, but without killing anyone. When David and his men saw the ruins and realized what had happened to their family, they wept until they could not weep no more. David's two, two wives, Ainom from Je- Jezreel and Abigail, the widow of Nabal from Carmel, were among those captured. David was now in great danger because all his men were very bitter about losing his son and daughter. And they began to talk about stoning him. But David found strength in the Lord. You see where Thanksgiving comes in. David found strength in the Lord. All right. So if I say the first thing is thank God, is with Thanksgiving, with worship, with encouraging yourself in the Lord. David found strength. Now, back in story, David was just was being chased about by Saul, wanting to be killed by Saul just because he was favored and he was envied by Saul. He was favored by God and envied by Saul. You know, then he went to join camp with the Philistines, you know, at, to live with them. Imagine for him to get to a point where he had to leave. He was living in caves. Where, you know, the moment David's problem started from the day he was anointed. I need somebody need to hear that. The moment David was anointed, all hell broke loose. Like that introduced his problem. That introduced his problem, you know, and it was just so intense, right? And at this point, all David, all David did was to be anointed. You know, there's so sometimes that some of us, and I'm speaking, this is encouraging me as well. The certain things that will break loose over us, the certain things we will contend with. And you might find yourself wondering, what is the problem? Maybe it's not what have I done wrong, but what are you doing right? Sometimes it's not what you're doing wrong. It might just be what you're doing right. And we saw that in the lives of the life of David. Before he messed up with, Be- 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 what's that name again? Before she, he messed up with um, Bathsheba, I believe, you know, he was already facing a lot of things, right? But, and, and also having, it was also a fight against Israel, I thank God for God ensuring that that didn't happen. And then he was turned back. They didn't trust him. He was rejected by his own people. The enemy that he has been with to gain their approval rejected him. He came back to Siglag where he was given as a place to stay. He sees smoke. Everybody was taking children. Everyone gone. He was distraught. He was discouraged. He was dismayed. And then the David's mighty men, the people that they now call mighty men, who, when they came to David, were dejected, rejected, like relics, like broken, battered people. All of a sudden now want to stone him. But look at this. But David found strength in the Lord. You see why you stay in thanksgiving. He has a way of giving you strength to walk through dark seasons. And he said to Abiata the priest, bring me the effort. The effort is the thing that the high priest put on to worship. At this point, David was not going to delegate his worship to anyone. He's like, come on, give it to me. So David brought it. Then David asked the Lord, should I chase after this band of raiders? Will I catch them? The second thing is, in this month, make sure you ask. 
David said, should I chase and listen for his response? He didn't run because he, he didn't say, oh, well, I've asked him, I've acknowledged him. No, 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 no. He waited and the Lord said, yes, go after them. And you shall surely recover everything that was taken from you. You see, what will deliver for you in this month of November is that which God has promised. Is that which God has promised. Not that which you think, not that which you, you, you picked up or that which you assumed, but that which God has promised. So the second thing is make sure you ask God and you receive his answers and instruction. The first thing is to thank God and be in a place of worship and encourage yourself. Number two, make sure you ask God, I'm telling you, for everything and ensure you receive his leading for everything. Make sure you ask God and make sure you receive his leading for everything. It is so important to ask the Lord. Are you noticing a pattern? Ask God. Why is this? Is there something about this? What do I need to do? And, and the rest of it. Is there anything you're seeing that doesn't make sense to you in your life? Is there a repeated pattern? Is there something? Just ask the Lord. Just ask the Lord. Just ask the Lord. Do not assume. Ask, 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 and wait to receive the response. Wait to receive the response. It is so, so important. Now, for a moment, I want you to ask the Lord, beyond the general things that is being said about this month, is there something for me? Can you open your mouth and begin to pray? I'm praying the spirit if you want for a minute and just ask the Lord, Lord, is there an instruction for me beyond what is being said, beyond what is being communicated, beyond the things that the general word you've given? Father, Lord, I ask what is your word what is, is there an instruction is there something i need to do personally in the name of jesus can we open our mouths and begin to pray if what you wise don't noise you can unmute your mic and begin to pray malika lo shekete Father, Lord, I just ask, oh God, even as we transition into new seasons, as we do the things that has been placed in our hands, Lord, is there, are there instructions? Are there personal instructions for myself or the ministry, oh God? Lord, our hearts are open to receive that in the Father, name Father, of Father, Jesus. Father. Lord, we just ask, oh God, wherever you are, you can unmute your mic if you want. Let's be, you know, press into this, oh Jesus. I will not go in my strength. I will not go in my own understanding. I will not go with just my human interpretation but lord god i pray in the name of jesus the lord god we are gonna ask you to we ask at every point oh god i ask that you make it clear you show exactly what to be done what do i need to do what do i, I will not even assume based on past instructions in the name of jesus what must i do oh god in the name of jesus it will be clear Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, one of the things that is important that David had asked before and he has been told, don't go. At the time he has asked before and he was told to go. So it's very easy to assume that ah, when this time of thing come up, I know what God will say. Now, the next thing is, mm, the third thing is Second Kings chapter 3. Verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going somewhere. Please hold on. Thank you, Holy Jesus. Call up our shepherd here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Right, that's where I'm going. Hallelujah. Second Kings 3, verse 16. Now, again, back up a bit. Look at this. Verse 15. But now bring me a musician. Did you see that? Again, relating to the effort, worship, 
your thanksgiving will precede instructions. You can't murmur to get instructions. If you have, mm-hmm. if the mercy of God had prevailed for your point now, you can't murmur and get the best of God. You can't murmur and, you know, um, and um, yeah, get the best of God. So you need to ensure you are perpetually in the place of thanksgiving and worship. Now, verse 16 says, and, the, and, and he says, thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. That's the next thing. Prepare for that which you are anticipating. Make room for that. Make room for that which you are anticipating. Begin to actively take step as led by God in corresponding corresponding steps to your faith. To make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see the wind. You shall not see the rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water, so that your cattle and your animals may drink. It's very important to know that God is saying the third thing is. Make room for the miracles. You see, you can't wait till you see the rain, you see the wind for you things to dig the, 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 the ditches. I'm beginning to make room. God is saying, make room ahead of time. If you read, um, um, there was a scripture that Sister Bukola quoted, which, was, which is also another layer to this. Thank you, Jesus. Is Isaiah chapter 4, 54, right? If you use the message translation, my message translation says, clear lots of ground. I think of verse two. It says, clear lots of ground for your tent. Again, it says, sing, O barren, you do not have children. It was speaking to someone that you don't have that which God is saying, but God is saying, no, clear lots of ground for your tent. Make your tent big. Spread out. Think big. Use plenty of rope. Drive the tent pegs down. You're going to need lots of elbow room for your growing family. Make room for that which you're praying for. Make room for that which you're praying for. Make room for that which you're praying for. I'm saying again, make room for that which you are praying for. God is set to visit us by saying three things. Pay pay attention, IRA community. Pay, um, pay, Pay attention to these things. Thank God. Be in the place of constant thanksgiving and worship let it be your fertilizer your catalyst to be able to download you know as you ask the lord questions ask him questions ask him for strategy make room for what you're praying and then third thing make room for what you're praying for make room for what you're praying for begin to act like the one that i received begin to because as he gives you instruction he said dig the ditches that yes, you may not see the rain, you might not see the valley, you might not see the rain, you might not hear the wind, but your valley shall be filled. But that for that to happen, you need to make room. 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 In the next 10 minutes, we're going to pray in the spirit based on all that which we have received. These three things. Thank God and be in the place of worship. Download and ask questions. Make room for what you're praying for. Thank you so much, PCJ. This is what the Lord is saying for us. Ask questions. Do not be afraid to go back. Do not be afraid. If God says, pull it down, pull it down. If the Lord says, restructure it, restructure it. If the Lord says, realign it, realign it. Do not be afraid. 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 Do not be afraid to confront those things that scared you and take them to God. You know, don't be afraid for God to strip you. You know, I was saying yesterday is our month of supernatural, glorious unveiling. You know, so if God is going to unveil, it might even start with you, unveil you to you. You might get uncomfortable by the things God is saying about you. You might wonder, is that me? You might get uncomfortable about things God will reveal to you. You might get uncomfortable about the things because God says, I want to go there. But do not be afraid. But do not be afraid. So this morning, I want us to open our mouth wherever we are and begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Come on, open your mouth and begin to pray. 
Oh, lift up your head, oh ye, be lifted up ye everlasting door. At the people in this house, are you praying? Noisy, we go to hear the voice of believers this morning. Pray. In the name of Jesus, Makoshala, Zekele Besikala, E Makosha Payala, you will not be carried away, Makoshala, and this is what will come out of me. This will come out of me. Praises will come out of me. Praises will come out of me. Praises will come out of me. The old praises will come out of me. Malo Sekele Basuka, Malada da 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 da. They're working on our eye places in the name of Jesus. Let them be super yadawa. Somebody pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
Precious name of prayed. Amen. Father Lord, you give us the grace to really carry out these three things. As you said, you give us the grace to really go out pursuing these three things that you placed on our heart in the name of Jesus. We will not be tired. We will not be weary in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you in the name of Jesus. I see some words, Pastor Christina shared a word that she's um, on her heart about it. And I pray in the name of Jesus. It says, you know, yes, we hear a voice behind you say, this is the way walking it. I think there are other scriptures that were dropped as well. Let me check it. Yes, we'll receive clarity 
in the name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Our strength is being renewed in the name of Jesus. Father, we will not be tired in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. All right. Glory to God. So, as you give us the word in 2018, according to Acts chapter 2, when we're asking the Lord, how do we find some of the things? And he said, it's from within. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, and everybody brought what they had, and they were able to bless. Oh God, Lord, as we bring what we have, we will see you breathe upon it and multiply. And just as Second Kings chapter 3, verse 17 to 20 reads, and it says that we might not see the rain, we might not see the wind, but our valley shall be filled. We dig the ditches, oh God, and we get ready to receive that which you've done for us in this year 2022 on this platform. In and out, your word has always been there and been a blessing to us. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Please don't forget those three things that we need to do. How many of you have been blessed by the 12 p.m. watch? I mean, all the watches, but I need to hmm, celebrate the sacrifices and the sacrifice of a Um, I'm a bit emotional right now. And, and that's because for him to do the 12 p.m. watch, because it's a very peculiar watch, which is worship, he had to give up a lot of things and be at the in fact there are times when we had to go for ministrations and i need to be around he will say he will stay back i have to say no tell somebody else to take it from somewhere else but i remember when we we're going to start in july he kept you know praying in august he said he wanted to in his words in a way they need to really count the cost and sink in a siri god bless you and everyone else you know stalua came here and a couple of other people have also made commitments to um they come maybe three times a week two times a week and all but a series thank you for that sacrifice of literally shutting down everything to ensure that 12 p.m watch and you're doing this as a volunteer it's not that because he is is a voice doing it as a volunteer the lord god will bless you and also continue to bless us to be a blessing in the best way we can to you thank you so much for modeling what it is to put your hand on the plow and not looking back. I pray the Lord God will increase you and every other person in Jesus' name. Like I said, it's not just peculiar to um, the 12 p.m. watch. All the people waking up in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., 12 p.m., 12 midnight to pray, especially those watches. You know, it's easy to sleep. And some of them are not in time zones where 12 p.m. is uh, 6 a.m. in their own country. Sometimes some of them are in Nigeria. Lord, will bless everyone. The 9 p.m. watch, all the watches. It's easy to say, well, it's just five of us on those watches. We're not doing it. It's just 10 of us, just 20 of us. Thank you so much all for building with me and holding my hands. And for everyone that's shown up on this platform, in and out, every, some of you two years, three years, some of you four years. I can never forget Nikki, Buki, Toyin, for consistently, for almost two years, you were just three of you, five of you at best, on this platform and look at where we are today. The Lord God will bless us and increase us in Jesus' name. We've not seen anything yet. And the God that started this good work in us will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day. Can I encourage you? If you are, if you attend a Bible believe, well, I won't believe you are attending a Bible believing church, reach out and bless your pastors. Bless them in prayers. Bless them with your your, your words. I can tell you for free. The attack on ministers in this season is not a joke. Secondly, it is not beans. You will never know. Forget for every false prophet or false pastor, there are a billion or other that's weeping and sacrificing on the back end, doing what God wants them to do. So just encourage your ministers, encourage your leaders, encourage your bosses, encourage the, that CEO. Look at what dollar is now in Nigeria. We're trusting God for an overturn. And they're still able to pay salary. Trust me. People are saying the standard of living is increasing, but the salary are not increasing. I get it. But guess what? Some of them are not, the sales is not increasing. The cost of expense, it used to cost us 15,000 at best to fill two kegs of diesel. I can't, I don't know if that said me, 12,000 or something. Now it costs us 40,000 naira, 40,000 naira for diesel that you will use sometimes in a week or less than a week, depending on how power is. And that's minus the cost of power. It is unbelievable running, having your space in this time in Nigeria. But we know the Lord will continue to bless us and, and equip us in Jesus' name. 
Amen. God bless you all. Have a great time and we'll see you. Don't be downcast. We keep thanking God. We keep rejoicing and know that God is faithful. He's aware of what's happening. Please don't join them and be shout, oh my God, oh, oh it's over. Look at dollar. I paste, but instead of paste dollar on your one, begin to speak to your, begin to speak to Naira, dollar and our, and our passports that there will be an overturn in Jesus name. Amen. Have a blessed day.